biggest market in the city. Yeah. Oh, in Cambodia, we can see that. This is the French Adeco. Mm -hmm. French Adeco. It was built in 1937. Okay. It was broken during the war, but we restored again by 1992. Yeah. And opened for use in 2011. Okay. The one that Cambodian people would say that the price inside there is more expensive than the other market. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Local market and tourist market. Yeah. So we're, uh, we're going on a tour. We're going on a tour uh, to visit the uh, killing fields and the museum. Not only for the independent movement, but mm -hmm. it's only the memorial building, which is about 10,000 of the Cambodian army were dying mm -hmm. during the French. They was take the army from Cambodia to yep. help them during the war. So about 10 or 10,000 Cambodian were dying. Memory movement to remember about this. Movement. That's a country flag. Yep. Red is. Uh, represented for nationality, mm -hmm. the blue is represented for the king, yep. and the middle they don't go one. Go one, two. It's the uh, independence monument. 1953, yeah? Yes. Yep. arrived in the uh, the Rosewoods uh, Jaguar. I've got my ticket for the uh, first port of call, which is the Chongok uh, Genocide Center, right? So we're gonna go and have a look at this place. So come to the uh, Chongok uh, Genocide Center. Chongok uh, Genocide Center, about uh, 15 kilometers south of uh, Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Uh, so uh, in 1975 to 1979, Cambodia was ruled uh, by the Khmer Rouge. It's called the, uh, Pol Pot was the leader. Pol Pot was the leader of the Khmer Rouge. Uh, it was just after the, uh, the Vietnam War, communism versus uh, capitalism. 
and uh, the Pol Pot Khmer Rouge they tried to create, so it's based on China's uh, The Great Leap Forward, they tried to create a society based on uh, agriculture and stuff like that right, basically. So all the intellectuals uh, were pretty racist as well, all the foreigners, a lot of them were uh, killed off. They reckon two million people uh, were killed, it's called the uh, Cambodian Genocide. And uh, this is one of the uh, the killing fields, there are mass graves around the place. Uh, I won't talk once we get in, but uh, they had a, like a prison near town, we'll see that later. They brought them out here to be killed, generally killed by beating against the head. Beating against the head uh, with bats, there's a tree that they used to uh, do it against. And uh, yeah, these are the gardens uh, of the place. Go for a walk around. There's a lot of skulls uh, in the building just here. The yeah, Cambodian government today, and Senator the Prime Minister, they encourage uh, tourists to come and uh, see this place. Uh, you can only learn from your own mistakes uh, for the planet. Various uh, holding chambers various uh, holding chambers. The mass graves are all uh, just over here. Just come inside the uh, Chong Ok uh, Genocide Center. These are mass graves, uh, mass graves during the uh, Pol Pot Pot, uh, 1975 to 79 regime. It's the tree that uh, I used to beat people against. Each of these huts has got like 200 mass graves. Also the fields. All the fields around here. All these mass graves. Chongek uh, Genocide Center. Alright, I'll jump back in the wheels. Jump back in the wheels and uh, get going. So the next stop is the
city in the distance. So you can see the uh, rosewood in the distance there. That's the rosewood, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Straight ahead yeah, is yeah, our yeah, hotel, yeah, the rosewood. Yeah, yeah. That's the highest building in Cambodia, yeah? It's the highest building in Cambodia. Yes, sir. We have another one at Hyo, but not yet finished. Not open yet, okay. Yep. So now Yep, yep, yep. Especially the Russian. So we've, uh, we've come to uh, S21, it's uh, Security 21, uh, this was the, uh, before they took them to the, uh, the killing fields. This was a former uh, secondary school, it's a former school in uh, right in the middle of uh, Phnom Penh here in downtown Phnom Penh. It was a former school that was converted into a prison and uh, uh, a torture, torture place. It was standing in the grounds of a former school here in uh, downtown Phnom Penh. They had six in all. So this is uh, S21. They had 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. It's called uh, 12, 
Central saying uh, genocide museum now. So uh, inside they had all the prison cells, the torture chambers. They've got photos of the uh, various people that were murdered and so on. So what happened uh, 1975 to 1979, three years and eight months. Three years and eight months uh, went on for when uh, Pol Pot, uh, Khmer Rouge, Kampuchea. It's all a spin-off from uh, capitalism versus communism that goes on to this day, uh, albeit in a different way. Uh, but uh, it's basically the underlying, uh, it's camp capitalism versus communism. Uh, but this was, uh, so you saw the killing fields earlier, so the uh, political prisoners that were opposed or potentially opposed to uh, Pol Pot and uh, the Khmer Rouge, which basically was uh, political prisoners, yeah? So academics, uh, lawyers, doctors, uh, foreigners, foreigners, anybody that had uh, any overlap in self-interest with uh, foreigners, basically. Uh, I was brought here, questioned, photographed, uh, and then taken out to uh, the Killing Fields uh, further out. Yeah, so it used to be a secondary school. I'll take you inside and show you the uh, Let's walk around the gardens first, uh, show you inside the, some of the prison cells and uh, some of the torture uh, equipment that was used. It's all preserved uh, for people to see. But yeah, it's a school, this. It's a school anywhere in the world, right? It's not school anymore, uh, some kids outside, they come to visit. We've got various people that claim to have survived the, uh, their time here. There's a photo at the front. Uh, so the Vietnamese, uh, the Vietnamese army invaded in uh, 1979. The Vietnamese army invaded the place in 1979 and uh, basically put an end to the, uh, the stuff that was going on. This guy here claims to be a survivor. They've got the graves. Uh, just at the top of the garden there's the graves of the last 14 people who were here, who they didn't have time to take to the killing fields. Yeah, 12 slang uh, genocide museum. They didn't have time to take the last 14 to the killing fields, so they uh, shot them here. And uh, they were buried here as well. That's how ruthless uh, Khmer Rouge were. But uh, when you're defending a political way, whichever side you're on, that's how ruthless, uh, yeah. Yeah, they convert the school, right, into a... Uh, they convert the country into a... Uh, you seen the film, uh, The Killing Fields? Yeah, I know what they're trying to achieve. Based on uh, the Great Leap Forward, uh, China's Maoism, uh, that kind of philosophy. Like I said, it's com capitalism versus communism. That was the underlying principle, I think. They used the graves. These are the graves of the uh, final 14. You can only video with your phone inside the building, so uh, I'll take you inside and uh,
take you inside the uh, school building, show you what the prison cells look like and uh, some of the torture stuff that they used, looks like. These are the questions that they were asked. This is what the cells would look like. These are the cells the prisoners would be held in. That's the questions that they got asked, amongst other questions. So some of the blocks here, they've got uh, some of the, uh, the instruments of torture. Yeah, some more uh, cells here with barbed wire. The Khmer Rouge, they were formed from uh, jungle fighters in the, uh, the east, in the east uh, near Vietnam. Uh, there were a lot of uh, shifting allegiances. Uh, there were a lot of uh, shifting allegiances. Uh, yeah, and they took over uh, 1975, they got to Phnom Penh. The Tall Slang uh, Genocide Museum. Wheels are here. Jump in and uh, get going again. Alrighty. So we're uh, gonna drive off uh, back uh, Yeah. 
in front of the uh, Independence Monument. So the, the Royal Palace? Ah, yeah? uh, it's the Royal Palace. Yeah, actually, uh, yeah. under construction. Oh, yeah, yeah, we saw it inside, yeah. There are many uh, uh, people uh, in the evening yeah. time yeah, around yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Yes, this is the Mekong River, yeah? Yeah. Yes, so this is what I meant. Next time visiting visiting Phnom Penh, I do a boat ride on the river. Yeah, of course. So isn't it you have the flags of all the different, different they have three states? Flags. The one in colourful with the yellow, brown, white, red, that's one is the religious flag. Ah. Uh, the blue one, all blue, that's the king flag. Mm -hmm. And another one red in the middle. to the road Yeah, the tuk tuk is nice, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the tuk tuk. Alrighty, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. 